Hello, hello, my dear friends, and welcome to another vlog. This vlog is gonna be a little bit different today um, for a number of reasons. First, it's gonna be really short, so I'm sure all my friends out there that actually subscribe and watch these videos are probably jumping for joy for that. Um, but also, it's different from a lot of the other ones I've done because I actually came up with the idea for this vlog like 10 minutes ago. I'm filming it now and I will be uploading it like within the hour. So extremely different from a lot of the other vlogs I've done because a lot of the other vlogs I've done, you know, travel vlogs, even the vlogs where I'm talking in my own house, as any of you who do any kind of content creation know, they take a lot of time and like a lot of work. I'm gonna keep it so real. Um, I had a plan for the vlog that I was gonna be uploading today and it was gonna be my Chamonix vlog. Um, so many me, so many of you have still been asking me for that. The reality is I went to Chamonix like over a month ago. But the truth is like YouTube ain't the only thing I do, y'all. It ain't the only thing I do. Even where I'm at right now, I actually am at a beautiful, beautiful villa in Italy. And this in and of itself is going to be something that I will be sharing more about later. But I'm not on holiday. I'm here for a project, a project that is very important to me and I think very exciting and I really can't wait to share with all of you. I did not anticipate vlogging anything about my presence here today or anytime soon because it's a long-term project where once I hit certain benchmarks, I will finally share it with you. But the reality is Chamonix vlog was supposed to go up today Chamonix vlog ain't nowhere near ready because it takes so much time to edit because I have a lot of content from Chamonix vlog. But one of the things I told myself at the beginning of this YouTube journey, probably the most important thing to me in this vlogging journey was going to be consistency. And when I made my first vlog, so that was my like New Yorker in London winter time edition vlog, I really learned firsthand like how much goes into filming content and editing it and listen y'all I'm not talking about editing things to make it look like super aesthetic or amazing or like using filters or this or that because I really don't do that so much it's just when you have a volume of content and you're going to edit it to share a story with people you want to you know cut things in a way that makes sense you want to add music music's important to me you want to add music that evokes emotion and all that kind of stuff and is consistent with the message you're trying to convey and me as someone who cares about all that stuff, it just takes time. Now, the catch 22 is you have these visions and ideas of delivering something that takes time, but you are also trying to meet a deadline that you have set for yourself. You're trying to be consistent. Right now, um, I've actually been super proud of myself that the past few weeks, I have been releasing my YouTube vlogs quite consistently. Um, every two weeks on a Friday. I only have like seven videos, so like it's not that many videos, but after probably like after the third or third or fourth one, I um, got into that nice rhythm. But uh, yeah, I just had a lot going on in my life this week and the week prior. And you know, I work outside of YouTube. YouTube ain't making me no kind of money just yet. It will though soon. Um, so, yeah, I felt very, oh, there's a random man that's walking up the path and yelling. Baby, there's a man coming. Buonasera. Informazione. Angela. Yo no sono Angela. No. Guys, I have to show you this. No. Okay. Merci. Mi dispiace. Grazie. Grazie. Oh, this shit got weird. Okay, let me make sure. Um. I don't want to stop this, but I want to make sure the angle's okay. Babe, can you just come and look to make sure the angle's okay? 
that was crazy i should have filmed it better for you guys but i did not know what was going on okay so baby don't choose the angle i'm gonna choose the angle and basically i'm here you can see the house in the back you can see a little bit of the yellow thing the yellow hammock right yeah okay All right, well, that was cool to see actually the time, how long I've been talking, because I ain't trying to talk longer than like seven minutes, y'all. If this ain't a sign of how life just be a little bit chaotic, <laughs> probably won't even, I thought I would chop this a little bit, but I, I might just give it to you guys in its full glory. So I'm just gonna keep my rambling short, yeah? Um, Cause I want to stay under 10 minutes with this. <laughs> Where the fuck was I? Yo, guys, I need to take my freaking. First off, y'all think I'm gonna learn Italian with Duolingo. I am not, okay? I actually downloaded, damn, what's the thing that I downloaded? The fact that I can't even remember what the app is called speaks to how often I've been doing it. Pimsleur. I downloaded Pim Pimsleur so I could like communicate with these Italian people, but I haven't been doing it, clearly, because he came here looking. He said, Bosco Angela. What's that mean? He means he's looking for Angela. And I said, yo no sono Angela. I'm not Angela B. He understood that. Um, <laughs> and then he was like, what's this called? And then Bay was like, Airbnb. He's like, oh, Airbnb. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna show you the driveway too. It's long. Like this man just walked up this long driveway to this secluded place where we are. <laughs> I gotta save this for another video. I gotta save this for another video. Okay, let me get back on track with what I'm saying. Anyways, life be chaotic. And uh, yeah keeping it real like i kind of because today's vlog the plan was to release a chamonix video which ain't anywhere near to being done i was feeling like really not like a failure let me not be dramatic but yeah i was feeling really disappointed that i wasn't gonna meet my goal um and then kind of just like didn't know what to do and then it's also nice when you have a nice supportive partner because they was just like why don't you just okay now we got another man coming up but this man actually i think these people stay here because where we are there's a space for two bookings we're in a secluded place but there's a space for like a lower level where we have booked out and we have an upper level that other people have booked out i think these people actually stay here and i will like say hi to them as they walk past um they're probably looking at me crazy like why is she talking to a box Buongiorno. Hello. <laughs> They're like, why are you talking to a box and a stack of books? <laughs> but that's how life is sometimes, right? Anyways, back to the matter at hand. Now my thoughts are everywhere. I'm gonna be looking crazy in this video. Um, they sounded German. Oh, hi guys. Um, yeah, I was feeling very disappointed and then i was like wow now the whole rhythm's gonna be messed up but babe was just like just upload like something quick just like talk to the camera and you'll you'll still hit your mark and then you have another two weeks to finish the chamonix video so the chamonix video goes up um in the same rhythm it makes me feel a little crazy that my chamonix ski trip video is now going to be going up in june <laughs> But that's how life be sometimes, right? Like, that's just how life be. And I'm actually okay with that. Um, in the grand scheme of things, I feel quite proud of myself um, and where I've gotten to so far in my YouTube journey. It's definitely like not easy. And I always told myself that I wanted this to be something that was not all about like reaching goals or like reaching benchmarks but it was something that I would enjoy um the German people are talking in the background so sorry if you can't hear me I'll try and talk a little bit louder um but yeah like it's not meant to be something that makes me feel super stressed or like I'm really gunning to like get this done so I can get monetized and this and blah blah plenty of ideas I want to be monetized let's keep it real I ain't gonna apologize for the fact that I want this to be something that makes me money um and provides a living for me it's like part there's many reasons why i started this um that's a part of it that's not the primary reason to be entirely frank the the primary thing that triggered 
me to start a YouTube channel is this current project that I'm working on. I knew it was going to be cool. I knew I was going to want to share about it. Like, I will release content about this probably, probably won't be anytime soon, like maybe in a few months. Um, but yeah, you know, it's kind of coming a little bit full circle now that I'm about eight videos into my YouTube, eight long form videos into my YouTube. I do really shorts. I've been getting more consistent with the shorts. I'm also really proud of myself for that. Um, and yeah, it's kind of nice to have a reminder at vlog eight why I decided to start my YouTube. It's nice to have a reminder that I wanted this YouTube journey to be something that was enjoyable for me, that felt fulfilling and nice and not another thing in life that like I felt like was a to-do list that stressed me out that I need to get done. Um, if you've watched any of my earlier videos, particularly like the video where I talk about leaving a six-figure salary to like become an artist and stuff, the reality is, is that like a lot of my training um, was like very academic, very corporate, like strive high, go to these top schools, be a top performer. So there's a part of that in me that like can't leave and won't leave. Um, and a part of that version of me, um, yeah, was kind of like rearing her head today being like, you about to fail uploading these videos every two weeks. But you know what, bitches? Now I'm not, because I am doing this. I'm giving you something short. I hope you can still appreciate it as quality. And I actually feel very satisfied now that here we are at two weeks mark and y'all still gonna get a video. So like I said, this video is gonna be very different. It was gonna be very rambly. I didn't have, I just thought of this idea 10 20 minutes ago i'm doing it now there's no structure there's no script did i think some old italian man was gonna come up in here looking for angela no i didn't want to make it obvious that i was filming him that's why i was like sorry sorry that you couldn't really see him um but yeah that's it in a nutshell so i'm a press stop now i'm gonna go back and do the things i gotta do today and we'll upload this and I hope you guys can look forward to my ski trip video that I will be posting in June. And I'm sure you will love it as much in June as you would have loved it if I'd posted it right when it happened, which actually was, to be fair, April. Yeah, we went skiing at the end of the season. So that's a part of why it's taken so long because we also did it late in the season. That's all, guys. I like love that we spent this time together now. Thank you for everything. And I'll see you again for another long form vlog on Anise London in two weeks. See you guys. Bye.